I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. I'm Adriana. And I'm Sabrina. And today is October 18th. Hey, Destiny Farmer, Ariana Johnson, Natasha Heiser, Aaron Peterson, and Jessica Joseph. Congratulations. All of you graduated from last week Western Certified Nursing Assistant class. They work through youth options and now have three college credits. If you have questions about the program, talk to Destiny, Ariana, Natasha, Aaron, Jessica, or Mrs. Leadholm. It's that time again. What time? Time to talk about physicals and alternate year cards. Okay, well, get to it. If you're planning to participate in a basketball, hockey, dance team, or wrestling, listen up. If you have been out for a sport this fall, you'll have to pay your $25 fee to participate in a high school sport. If you've not been out, you will have a list of a few more things to complete before participating. One, make sure your athletic physical is current and on file in office. If your physical exam date was after April 1st, 2012, you will be good to go. If your exam date was between April 1st, 2011 and April 1st, 2012, you'll need to fill out the alternate year card. And if your physical exam date was before April 1st, 2011, you'll need to get an athletic physical. Read, understand, and sign the athletic code book. Read, understand, and sign the concussion awareness form. Read, understand, and sign the WIAA eligibility form. Pay your $25 activity fee. First practices are November 5th for girls and boys hockey and November 12th for wrestling and girls and boys basketball. If you're not participating, then maybe you can try for one of the Fan of the Week titles, right? Here's Jessica Valentino and Nissa Flick with some tips on how to be a Fan of the Week. At Black River Falls High School, a program is now further developing to increase school spirit. This week we're picking two new fans of the week. Fan of the week? I want to be fan of the week. How do you believe you became fan of the week? I was really loud. And I, I drank some tiger blood and then that tiger blood just went through me. Ooh, just kept me going, I guess you could say. What advice would you give to others who want to become the fan of the week? Drink tiger blood, um, yell, be loud, just have fun with it. Who cares what other people think? And we're wondering what you'd be willing to do for school spirit. Here's some tips to become fan of the week. Number one, pay Mrs. Gilbertson $10 and I will try to bribe the teachers. Number two, be at all sporting events. Not necessarily just varsity, you want to be at B squad and C squad. Number three, make sure that you're always wearing tiger colors or that you perform or maybe dress appropriately to the theme for the night. Number four, always execute proper sportsmanship. Uh, calling the, the other team bad names, not cool. Number five, and most important of all, cheer as loud as you can. Miss G, she's always good for some advice, isn't she? You know what else she'd probably be probably say? What? To volunteer. Here's a chance to volunteer with a cool program. Boys and Girls Club is looking for volunteers. They really need you during homework time, which is 3.30 until 4. Other hours are from 3 until 5, but talk to Ka Cassie Getzka at Boys and Girls Club to find out more. You can reach her by phone at 715-284-4005. Ms. Simpson has an announcement for Senators too. Due to changes in the daily schedule, members of Student Senate should sign up for Focus with Simpson on Thursday, not Friday. If you cannot make it, please see Ms. Simpson. She's looking forward to seeing you there. Hasta luego, Tigres!